Hello everyone. Today I'm here with an unbagging or unboxing of uh, four paintings that I got from Amazon. So let's open them up. I know what they are. It's a four pack and I paid $15.99 for them. And you'll see they all follow a certain theme and they're all special shaped. I'm trying to get them out without showing my address. Ooh, it comes in a nice little Ziploc baggie that is, yeah, it's Ziploc. It's just got a tear in it. So let's open this up. and start taking the paintings out. Okay, which one do you want to open first? I don't want you to see what they are yet. Okay, let's start with the pink one. My scissors. Nope, I didn't cut all the way through. Okay, comes with an ordinary toolkit, pen, a boat, a small uh tray of wax and some baggies and I'm going to put those off to the side because I don't generally use those. And as you can see, I got it upside down. As you can see, it's a painting of a tree. So uh, they are all going to be of trees, but different colors. Let me see if I can just straighten this one out a little bit, get it to relax. Now that didn't help much. It's a 30 by 30. And uh, Diamond Painting Anonymous is doing a special event this month. And uh, she is trying to get a 30 by 30 done for every day of the month. And um, I've made a couple to help support her. It's a challenge that her husband and her son uh, challenged her to do. Let me show you the drills with this one. They look very pretty. See if I can get into them without cutting them. Yes, I can, maybe. Nope, it looks like I may have to cut them. Um, it doesn't have the DMC numbers. Oh yeah, it it does, but it has special shapes. So I think there it might be the crystal codes. I'm not exactly sure. So to start with, we have a silver shiny. Um, crystal kind of looking diamonds. We have some reds. We have some oranges. We have some purples. We have some regular blacks. We have some opalescent uh, um, oh gosh, what do you call these ones? I'll, I'll have to think of that and I'll come back to that. Marquise, and then we have some 
tiny silver teardrops, some purple teardrops, some red teardrops, and some yellow teardrops. And then we have some round orange diamonds and some opalescent um, round diamonds as well. And I'm going to keep this canvas out because I am going to um, do a pan over of all the uh, paintings once I get them lined up. So I'm going to put that one for here right now. And let's go with the blue one next. And I'm probably going to do one of these tonight um, in support of uh, Diamond Painting Anonymous. She has a good channel. I suggest you follow her. Um, her name is Daphne, and she's very nice. So this is the second diamond painting. And again, following the same theme, it is of a tree. Only this one is a blue tree. Would help if I get them in the right direction. Let me see if I can get this one to relax a little bit. Oh, that didn't work so good. Okay, round two. So this is the blue tree, comes with the standard toolkit, pen, boat, wa uh, wax, and baggies. I don't keep those. Um, I have my own pens and my own waxes that I prefer, but if you're a beginner, that's all you need to get started. Let's take a look at the diamonds. Oh, these ones have a lot of special ones. To start with, we have some pearly or some <clears throat> opalescent whites. We have some blues. We have some ordinary black. We have some um, silver teardrops. We have some blue marquees. And we have some uh, bigger blue. Um, bigger than the ordinary drill uh, diamonds and then it comes with some additional special ones that are really pretty look how pretty these purple ones are and then we have some uh, crystal looking ones that are round and we also have some Marquees that are the same color as the last ones I just showed you. So, I am going to put this up with the other painting for when I do the pan over. And I'm going to keep the drills together so I don't lose them. So I'm going to put this one up here. And now... Let's open the third one. I kind of like this one. I'm liking the green color. I really like the blue color, to tell you the truth. Pink is a little too girly for me. But I have a new dog, Buffy, that I adopted from the shelter. And she has a pink collar, a pink name tag, and a pink collar. And she is a Chihuahua mix, and she is absolutely adorable and a wonderful addition to our house, to our home. So this is the green tree. Let me get to relax a little bit. 
This one has a little um, butterfly in it, but it's not painted. Oh yeah, it is with four drills. For $15.99, I thought this was a great price for four 30 by 30s. I'll probably do the blue one or the green one or maybe this colorful one that's coming up um, to support them and paying anonymous. Um, it's about midnight and I can't sleep. Ordinary toolkit, same as before. Let's get into the diamonds. Something stuck to me here. Ooh, some pretty greens. Okay, we have some specials in it too. Again, we have a white opalescent. We have a green. We have another green. We have a regular black. We have some orange round circles, some green marquees, and some opalescent type marquees. And then for the special ones that they have in, the, in baggies, we have a, a very pretty green. We have some fairly large um, uh, opalescent um, shimmering diamonds. Then we have some marquees that look kind of the same color as the last one. They're kind of purplish. And then we have some really pretty green um, marquees. And I am going to keep these diamonds together. And I'm gonna leave this this one out for when we pan out. They're all labeled, so if you do keep your diamonds separately, um, you'll know where to find them. And this is the one I'm actually thinking of doing. This one's quite colorful. one's really pretty. They're all pretty. But I really like this one. I'm going to move this one over here. See how colorful it is? And Ordinary Toolkit, which I don't keep. Let me get it to relax a little bit. This one also has a butterfly with three diamonds and one over here and a little heart. Okay, so hopefully you can see that one. It's very colorful, like I said. I won't be able to get to all of these because I have um, some projects that I'm working on for the month of August. I'm working on, um, from Polluted Petunia, uh, some pugs that are, uh, three pugs that are in a, in a, like, lifeboat or life the things that are circles it's not a life raft anyway they look like donuts and it's a hysterical picture and so i'm working on that one um i have i'm almost halfway done with that and then as as you saw in my uh previous video um, I'm working on a jar that was from Fan Cells. So here's the colors. 
There's quite a few special ones in this. To start with, we have a white, kind of like a silvery crystal. We have some reds. We have some yellows. We have some blues. We have some greens. We have some lighter greens. We have some purples. We have a lighter purple. We have some regular black. And then we have some teardrops that are orange in color, like an orange yellow. And then here's all the special ones. This one has quite a few, like I said, probably because it's so colorful. Um, we have some orange circles. We have some very tiny silver slivers. We have some very large um, opalescent di diamonds. Some very small silver that are also opalescent. We have some very small uh, red rhinestones that are teardrops. We have um, quite a few of these marquees that are opalescent. We have some green marquees and then we have some blue marquees. So I'm going to end the video here and then I will do a pan over of all four. I promised you a finished canvas. So I finished the colorful tree and here it is close up. We'll do a pan over and see the butterflies. Butterfly there, right there, and a heart. And I believe there's a little ladybug. Let's see where the ladybug is. Oh, right up there. And this is how it looks completed. As I promised. Okay, so I promised you a pan over of each of the tree. That's the pink one. That's the blue one. This is the green one. And then this is the very colorful one.